Worldwide Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors, EOC Room, second floor, Tuesday, August 20th, 2024 at 6.22 p.m. Do we rise from the pledge? I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> Roll call. Marcus Harrison. Alex Alman. Chief Garza. Mando Garza. Excuse me, Armando Garza. Jesus Ramirez. <coughs> Marco Villegas. Neto Bojarda. Elvis Amiyan. Ben Arjona. And we're... <coughs> Do we have any public comments? No, we don't. I'm no public comments, okay? Director's report. Mr. Arjona, if you don't mind, uh, before we get started, I just want to say uh, we have a new member on the EDC board, and it's uh, obviously my sister, <coughs> Ellie Santian. And just wanted to let you know a little bit about her history. Um, she actually has her degree in advertising and marketing, and she represented Kraft Foods, the really advertising company, when she lived in San Antonio. So she traveled all the over the United States representing the advertising. From there, she went on to work with corporate sales with the Spurs, followed by AT&T Corporate, when she finally decided to come back home, because our dad got really, really sick. So she moved back home, and she continues to work the corporate side with sales and marketing. So that way, I know not everybody knows her, but just wanted to give her a little introduction. So she's very familiar with the aspect of economic growth, marketing, and Why sales. So. Here if she's here? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. To, to the EDC. Welcome. And you also, uh, Commissioner Jesse Ramirez is back from the EDC board. Welcome back. Welcome Thank back. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Jesse, welcome back. <coughs> Let me, and yeah, let me just say something about Mr. Jesse Ramirez. He was born here in San Juan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, thank you and welcome, new officers. Welcome to the family of the EDC. Uh, yeah, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, staff, good evening. Uh, I only have a few items. The, the first one is the famous whatever burger <coughs> ribbon cutting is going to be taking place tomorrow at 4.30. We expect, uh, we'd like for all of you guys to be there. We invite the whole community, the, the whole public, everybody to attend and, and join us. As there's gonna be 31 free water burgers for the first 31 people. You want 62, because you cut them in half. But for the first 31 people, they're gonna be giving water burgers. So. Uh, and, I, and like I said, it'll be tomorrow at four, but I just I think it's gonna start at 4.30. Uh, the other one is uh, TML 112th Annual Conference and Exhibition. Uh, it'll be from October the 9th to 11th. Even though here it says that it's closed, we checked today and it's, it's open again. So for those of you guys that would like to attend, please let Ms. Martha know that uh, you're interested in attending the uh, TML conference. It'll be taking place in Houston. Um, it's, it's, it's a good place, good facility. So uh, for those of you interested, uh, and the last one is Edwards Astor and Title Company invitation for the Texas Proud Customer Appreciation Barbecue will be held on September 12, 2024 from 11 to 2 p.m. This is a customary yearly thing that they do for their customer appreciation. So we invite everyone to attend. Uh, it'll be a good event, good barbecue. I don't know if they cook it on site or they buy it. I have no idea. But it's good barbecue. So, uh, And then I've got a couple of things that on executive decision I'd like to share with you guys, but that's about the extent of the director's report. Move on to to discussion possible action on following matter. Discussion possible action on downtown revitalization plan. So on that one, that's the uh, the item that uh, it's going to be there to actually. We start with the uh, downtown revitalization uh, uh, work that uh, I've been asked to to place it on the agenda every single uh, meeting. Yeah, I, for for the record, this is on. For the, for the this, this will come up, we'll see this, discuss about what happens. Downtown revitalization, we do it all the time, just begin to keep updates, what's ongoing in our, in our revitalization plans. Right, and, and that is coming along great. Uh, I just spoke to uh, Mr. Rick Costley, uh, we're looking at the, uh, the monies that we were supposed to be setting aside for their participation of that uh, monies. So I'll be bringing it back before you guys uh, maybe the next couple of board meetings uh, to do some sort of a resolution uh, so that we can set aside those monies. Uh, moving on, uh, Mr. Um, 
chairman and, and board members, we have the uh, third item, which is the, I'm sorry, the second item is discussion of possible action, if any, on approving the mini grant for active nutrition. Um, let me just get Cynthia Flores. Cynthia Flores. Flores. Cynthia Flores here with us. Uh, she's seeking a sponsorship for acrylic sign, a translucent vinyl sign with a logo, flyers, business cards. Cynthia Flores has submitted all the required paperwork. You're the property owner? Yes. Again, she was the property owner that came over. I think uh, you came over a couple of uh, minutes ago, but I'm mistaken. He trato, uh, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Cintia. Eh, he tra ya he estado tratando de aplicar y este fue ya con un logro de poder estar aquí con ustedes. Estamos en, en Veteranos, en, pasando la 495 en toda la Veteranos hacia el norte. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, everything is there in front of you. Uh, she's a tenant, not a property owner. So. Tenant, tenant, I think it's 2,000. No, tenant is one and a owner thousand. is two. Owner, so you're a tenant then. Okay. Right. Correct. It's 1,000. I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Gracias. Thank you. Just the money. Gracias. <laughs> Es uh, Marta Patterson, le va a estar en contacto con usted para hacer el trámite. Okay. ¿Sí? Gracias. 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 Yeah, the third item is discussion on possible action, on, if any, on the fiscal year budget 2024-2025. At the last meeting we talked about it, uh, but it was y'all's wish to wait for the full board to be here present. Uh, I don't know if you guys had a chance to actually go over the budget. Obviously for the new uh, commissioners, or I'm sorry, board members, didn't have a chance to go through it. But if not, it's there in front of you. If you have any questions, do you want to go through it? Um, and what, let me what's know. changed? I mean, the, the fact that besides, uh, I mean, our sales tax are up, right? Yeah, we had a yearly comparison from last year to this year. Overall, it's a, at least, at least, uh, no less than 8% increase from last year to this year as far as sales tax. 8%. Yeah. And the year before, to, to the was so usually, no, we usually go about maybe four to five. Yeah. But this year was a little bit better than previous years. Yeah, a couple more stores. Well, yes, that and, and also uh, next year will be a better one. We just hit the, the uh, rating call this this uh, afternoon, and, and, and we, we talked about that. The, the agents were telling us how how the uh, the city is progressing as far as sales tax is concerned. Uh, the tech space is growing as well. So we're in a very good position when it comes to the sales tax and the envelope and all that. Uh, yes, I mean, as far as the salaries, uh, Mr. Hona, I'm looking at the uh, budget for 2024 was 136, and we're proposing a 212,000, which is about 86,000 increase in salaries. Did we have a system? No, I think the one that is uh, actually uh, no, that's year-to-date activity. 122,000. So the total budget for 2024 oh. is 136. Year-to-date is 122,000. And the proposal is 212. So that's about a $50,000 yeah, difference. difference. I was wondering if we added a position there or why the big difference in the... I know, I know we had talked about the COLA. <clears throat> Correct. Yeah. Could it be that? No, I don't know. Uh, and there's, there hasn't been any, anybody uh, added no to the, uh, to the no system. There's no proposed increase in staffing. No. Correct. Total activity that, that says 132,000, that's because the 52,000 on that uh, assistant executive director that is vacant is not going into the uh, the budget. So those monies were not uh, expensed last year or this year. They're not used. Right, so I don't know if that may be the case. But that's about a 180, 190, okay. plus whatever we're yeah, proposing as far as the raise. So, yeah, right. so, so, <laughs> so, in, the, so that was a position that wasn't there last year? Yeah, it was. Vacant as well? That vacant and the, the new budget for it, so you, you, you haven't hired nobody in the future state. So, right. so all right. those are sent up in the future. So you need that money, you move it somewhere else. AC Castle, the ABC grows, and you need to hire that person, it's that's still there. Really right, no, I understand that part. But if it wasn't included, that's what I'm asking. If it, if it was included this year, and that's why there's an $80,000 difference, because if it was 
you know, it was included last year you know, for this this budget. It, the one thing is we're at 136 proposed. That was the total budget that was approved for this uh, budget cycle. So moving into the next budget cycle, we're looking at 212, which is an 86. But what I'm saying is that that position was included last year. Really? So there's something that's going to be wrong. Yeah, I, I don't think it was included. I don't think I don't think the position was included. I don't think we, we accounted it for. It was the position was there, but not the monies. And because I'm doing the math right now, as far as the uh, 212 minus the 50,000, that's about 160. The only one that could come close to it is a 2122 total budget at 166 that was there. Mm -hmm. And then the pre previous year, it was I don't think it was included. Um, is there a proposed uh, uh, cost of living adjustment? Yes. What's the percentage? We're, we're looking at four. Four percent. <clears throat> on the, Mr. Hono, I know we talked on the budget detail on budget code page um, five, I think it's five. We go over all the sponsorships and I know we have it there on the amounts, but it's not something we're budgeting for necessarily next year, correct? Right, so so the items that are here, we place them there because typically you ask, we, did, we this did this last year, but it doesn't mean that we have to do the sponsor. Got it, so I want to clarify. <clears throat> and for this, for this fiscal year, Mr. Hona, we had $33,000 that were budgeted but not Expended? 33,000. What picture are you looking at? If you look at, at the bottom of uh, page five, it says undesignated 33,570. Yeah. Yes, so that, that was monies that they were, not, uh, they were not budgeted for. So those are like surplus monies. Right, right. So, so they, they were budgeted but not expended. Right, not expended. Right. Gotcha. Subject, so I'm just going to mention it. We don't have to discuss it. But did we hear back from PSJ on the? Oh, I was asking that earlier. On the. The proposed for the. Yes, yeah, they said no. <coughs> they said no. So they opted out. Okay. It was going to be like 500 a game. You know somebody over there? <laughs> I believe it Please was going to be. Strike that from the record. Why? We were going to get a commercial. Right. But we can't get a commercial without getting. The commercial alone was too is too expensive. Is it five hundred? Sure. It was five hundred a game. A now, game. Yeah. They did tell us choose a game. Like you're talking Bear Raider game or Wolverine versus we you know it's most of the cities are there. And we can do that one game and do it throughout the game for five hundred dollars. But only that one game for five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't have to pay by what we don't have because they didn't say this. Well, what happened was that they came before us last meeting with a, with a package, but we wanted the package to be altered. So they were going to go back, bring that back with the modifications we were asking for and bring back a new number, but the number was not, or the package wasn't even available. We were literally just asking for one more item, which was the commercial. We, we figured, as we discussed, we figured that it would be better, it would be benefit us more if we just got if we had a commercial play because the commercials were real right. big and they're talking there will pay attention to, to whereas we just have an advertisement on the board that says uh, one EDC. It doesn't. Most people see that it's what EDC, you know. Mm -hmm. so you want to market the business versus it would, just the. Who does to get the commercial, but I guess it didn't work out. It didn't work out. They said no. So I guess down the line, this board decides to want to advertise it, you know, we do it okay. And there's a big game coming up, I guess notify. And, and then we can just do it as need be per game. And how, then again, at that time. But how many? And that's also how many times they're going to show. Yes, correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's a question. Yeah. I guess y'all could ask that. And two, will we have commercial already? So we got, if, we, if we know that we're going to want to advertise during an October game or whatever, we can start getting a 15 second commercial now. And is it about EDC or is it promoting businesses within someone? 
promoting ED, well, both the business and the EDC. So, so we need the to be careful. Will be about the EDC and then the, the right. Businesses. So, so it'll be the EDC, but not necessarily target any any particular business. Right, just in, in general. general. Right. Yes. yes. So all different businesses. Just a little more work. Sure. Oh, well, it's a car. You got it. We'll turn. But that was a. You okay with that, Gus? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, but I. I guess. Can we can we still conversation about just getting the the packet? Absolutely. Without the commercial. Well, I thought there was one. There wasn't. Yes, there is, but it's a higher. It's a higher. It it's a higher like pack. twenty. I want to say. Here's the flight one. I have several packages. Do you have a packet with you? Three packages available. Right. And yeah, the so we can see. But we can get it on the card. We can pay. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be a package. Right. The package automatically, you're already committing 15 or 20. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to do that we're just much. We were looking at it and we were looking at out all the card for the day. Which one do you want? I think we yeah. can get a good I'd commercial like one from the there. So today, Matthew, it's not No. But you wanted to bring back the package and discuss And we can maybe even do more than just that one game. We could probably do the Wolverines, the Wolverines yeah. and the... The ones yeah. that, are, that are more hometown, right. like the big numbers. Exactly. Like your Bear Raiders and all those things. The more homecoming games, the Bears and the Bears. Yeah. yeah. Bears not. So, so then, Ben, can we get a, an agenda item for the next meeting? Yes, we can. So we can address it. Do you have the parents next? It, that'll be up to you. I, I guess call them because the games are already yeah, going to start in two weeks. Yeah. So see the where see the days. when the cutoff would be for us to okay. decide if we were right. going to we do it. And, and I'm assuming. Quick. But I don't think there's a cutoff. I think, well, yeah, you're right. Well, I'm sorry. Just because they have to do the program itself. They just put it together. They, they, they actually told us, choose a game. And you'll yeah. Unless it's sold out. We just want to know how many times it's, they're going to show throughout the game. Is it just it's something like that? Right? They can just, I mean, it's not nothing to them, right? We pay, they'll put it up, right? We yeah, do so it in just we a minute. provide them the video. Right. Pretty much what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to know how many chances we'd be paid I, I, I personally would like to see, so I've been doing good, and we just need to, I mean, the way you get even better is by promoting it and telling people about it, stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I, 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 I think a commercial, we haven't had something like that at a stadium or an event district-wide. You know, key, key on the Sawa DDC, this trap one already has a good slogan that we've been using, and that's uh, it's on find the place to be. And it's it's pretty much in most of the recent videos that we put out. So if we were to use that slogan straight off, EDC logos, and then Voiceovers. take pictures of a bunch of stuff and put them all together real quick, and then at the end, come to San Juan or something like that. And, and we have, Greg can do voiceovers, uh, JT can do a voiceover. So they, they do pretty well at it. So we'll be okay to get it done. I, I just think I that think it, would, so. it would help us a little bit. It's really dependent on how long we want the video to be as well. They're 15 seconds. That's 15. About 10 to 15 is a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's doable. It's, the, the thing is, we don't want to drag it out to where it gets boring. <coughs> so we need to do a quick one. Okay. You okay? Everybody good? Yep. Yep. We'll just uh, approve that. Is that it? So you got a motion in a second to approve as presented. Oh, uh, one comment, sorry. Uh, motion to approve, right, but pending the correction of the salary that we were questioning? That's uh, that's the corrected uh, amount. It was correct. Yes. Okay. okay. And, and just so you keep in mind, if you go to page, um, maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but oh, page six at the very bottom, there's an undesignated amount of monies. That's the amount of monies that we have for the next fiscal year as far as what we can uh, incentivize businesses. And keep in mind the 100,000, that's a, a one-time payment. So the next fiscal year, we should be at $300,000 free as far as money that we can incentivize businesses right. if we don't give anything out this fiscal year. We do okay. have a line item, Mr. Hono, on the proposed on page six where it says other special expenses for 35,000. Special projects, other special expenses, 35,000. Is that the uh, marketing? That's the one for the a scoreboard. Mm -hmm. uh, the, okay, they have the That's Special expenses? Oh, I'm sorry. Other special expenses, what's That's just for uh, 
What's that, marketing? It's for marketing. But, that's, but I, I'm not one of those special people. It didn't have that's a commercial. Yeah, we can't put yeah. it through. Yeah. <clears throat> we're saying children. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're on wrestle. We're on wrestle for it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So that's. It wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Only the ones with the star. That's, that's for promotional items, marketing, and stuff like that. Okay. We have a line for advertisement. Right. We, have a, we do have a motion to second, right? Yes. Yeah. So, yes. Mr. Ramirez made the motion, and then Mr. Garcia made the motion. We have a motion to second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the one we wanted, but it wasn't available. So yeah. On, on executive session, Commissioner, uh, Mayor Pro Temp, uh, board members, we have uh, the one economic development corporation will convene executive session according with the Texas Open Meetings Act, where says statutes in courts annotated government code chapter 551071, which is consultation with attorney and Texas government code 551087. Uh, this is having to do with uh, real estate. Uh, we have a couple of uh, projects I'd like to discuss with you, which is Project COP and Project Energize. And that's the extent of the uh, executive session. Okay. We got a motion to enter and take the session. Motion. Second. We got a motion to say aye. Okay. Okay. We got a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're now entering executive session at 7 We're now back in executive session at 725 p.m. We got a motion to be a motion in a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're now back in the regular session. On the items, we have no action. On A and B, both, no action. So that concludes the meeting. And do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. So we, we got a motion in a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Meeting has adjourned at 7.26 p.m.